Milton, we're here. That's the White House behind you. Right. You're homeless. Tell me about it. Uh, well, it's an experience that's, you know, that, believe it or not, I think some people should, should just try without having to be there to see just what happens with people. You know, sometimes you see people along the street begging, do you have any change to spare? And you might say, oh, well, why don't you just get a job? But sometimes it's not that simple. You know, you might have uh, medical issues or, or, or some other issues that won't allow you to just get up and go to work. You may be, re in some cases, uh, on, on some kind of federal assistance. Yeah. But, um, and then plus you have to be hireable. Like, you know, when I was 50 some odd, I got laid off and it was nearly impossible to get a job. And then even if you get a job, where are you going to shower? Where are you going to, you know, right. keep your stuff because people steal it or you bring it to work? Your boss knows you're homeless and you're fired. Wow. You know? Yeah, yeah. They kind of, it's kind of difficult uh, to be homeless. One of the things, like you said, is, is that consistency that you used to have that that certainty you know you get up and go to work but now uh, you may get up and find yourself saying well this you cannot sleep here you cannot stay here in this park you cannot do some of the things that it, that you have been doing so then you have to find another place to, to, to stay uh, even if it's just overnight uh, that's one of the things that I think is kind of bad uh, excuse me of being yeah. homeless, that there's no certainty. You know, everything is uncertain. Everything is, wow, well, man, I don't know if I'm gonna be able so, to do and, this. So, and you're a veteran, and yeah. you're out here in front of the White House. I mean, right. I don't even know if you think about that, but, you know, I've always felt here, it's so ironic that there's homeless people basically in the White House, you know, whether it's Trump, Obama, or Joe Biden, right in the front yard. Right, right, and uh, like you said, some of us are veterans. Some of us have been have fought in war. Some of us have uh, helped clear some of the natural disasters up around the country uh, that wasn't in a war. But um, yeah, it's, it's kind of complicated sometimes. I've talked to some of the veterans. I've seen some since I've been out, and they kind of share some of the same story. Sometimes it's kind of sad, say, well, wow, here I am. You know, a a, a a military service man, and having trouble finding a place to stay, yeah. having trouble finding food, having trouble finding water, having trouble finding soap. Finding so, a bathroom. Yeah, a bathroom is even more complicated sometimes yeah. than what you could ever imagine. Say, so, wow, yeah. we don't have public restrooms here. We don't have. What are you going to do? I've seen people. It's terrible. Run down the street, uh, and they can't get to a proper setting. Yeah. And before you know it, boom, they have lost their... Yeah, people got to go. That's yeah. one thing. Yeah. Humans got to go. We got to, yeah. you know. Yeah. Um, you said you only go into shelters when the weather's bad, because shelters are horrible places. Uh, I, well, I think they have a great uh, benefit, uh, you know, because, uh, like I said, one sometimes when it's real cold out, and you don't care if it's not so great of a, a place to stay, but what you do is say, well, wow, this offers some sort of comfort from the weather, some comfort from, you know, running into people who, well, the fear factor, you know, and I hope this guy is not going to rob me. I hope this gang is not going to beat me up. I hope these police is not just going to lock me up because I am homeless. You know, uh, some people are homeless not because they want to. They, like you were saying, I met some that said we have lost our jobs. We have lost our income. We have, not because we did anything wrong, but the job ran out. You know, sometimes the weather has beat people out of a yeah, job. Yeah, you said you, you said you ended up homeless because of a relationship and then you're also because of your job. Right, right, right. Um, and I've seen people um, get back together while they were uh, they had broken up while love they, is funny right right family is funny complicated oh, everybody wow. think everybody thinks that you know where's your family and sometimes family can cause them yes 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 you can be uh, man just mind-boggling about even a relationship yeah. well, well you're gonna sleep here I am so and so so and so some of the females have said 
that I've met that are homeless. And some of the uh, uh, homeless uh, veterans, some of those females are homeless veterans. Yeah, female there's more veterans. female veterans out here. And they complain sometimes about how difficult it is to be a woman and then uh, be out here. Yeah, experience some of the things that, that, that they have to experience and not have the, the type of facilities they think that uh, would be helpful for a person who has become homeless. But getting back to the shelters, I, I don't think the shelters are a bad place, but you know, you have all sorts of people there of all sorts of nationalities, all sorts of uh, income levels, and um, you really have to watch your stuff, you know? That's anywhere though, even in your own home. Right. You would have to pay attention to but how you secure- But yeah, shelter with right, all these people right. around. Right, how you would secure your goods. So, um, it's, 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 it's challenging, that's what it is. Yeah. You know, and then sometimes the hope gets to the point, oh wow, man, I, I can't believe this. I, I, I don't have any hope no more, I don't want to, Go any further, I've heard people say, well, this is it. I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, you know, have my things turned into perhaps a state hospital or some type of mental institution because things are so challenging out here for me. I can't compete anymore. I'm afraid on every corner. Who's gonna attack me? Who's gonna rob me? Yeah. I'm afraid to close my eyes out here. You know, while well, you were, you were rest. Yeah, I, don't, yeah. I have a rule, I never wake anybody up and I saw you sleeping. And right, I, you have I, to I almost wasn't gonna wait. Then I saw you get out. You you probably only laid down for a moment. Right, right. And it's tough to sleep out here. Exactly. Sleep deprivation exactly. is huge. Exactly. Uh, it's it's it, like I said, it's a challenging thing to, to have to deal with uh, sometimes because you know uh, I've seen many people say we don't sleep at night. We prefer to sleep during the day because at night you're more vulnerable to. Uh, people taking your things. You know, yeah. I hear people saying all the time, well, I can't leave my stuff here. Somebody's got it. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a real tough thing. And some of these people, like myself, uh, have uh, professional degrees where uh, they, uh, uh, their jobs, they had issues with their jobs. Yeah. And now they no longer so have you went to college? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, What's sir. Your, what did you get your degree in? I got a, a bachelor's in, in political science. Yes, sir. <laughs> but I heard some interesting wait, news. Wait, wait, you, you have a degree in political science and you're right. homeless across homeless from the White House. Across from the now White House. Now that's ironic. Yes, sir. Oh, and, my God. And, if you don't mind me asking, how many years young are you? Uh, 59. 59. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You should be retiring soon and this is no oh, way Right, for, right. And uh, there's more elderly out here. Well, I still have six, six or more years to do that. And uh, I, I don't want to spend those years out on the streets, but it's just, like I said, it's it's, it's a re sometimes it's rewarding because like uh, a person like myself who's interested in art. Remember I told you about the guy that was um, yeah uh, 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 doing paintings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see all sorts of things that that, that the different architectural structure of different buildings. Say, wow, I did not realize there were real uh, faces on some of these buildings that were. But not just paint, but yeah. a part of the building. And, uh, you know, like I said, it's just some things that you you can find that you wouldn't find yeah. if you were not homeless. You make and, the best of it. Right, right, that. right. You have more time to... Now, to, you said you had housing. You're working on housing. Somebody helping you? Uh, yes, sir. I have a... Uh, I'm a connected with a church, a Catholic church that do Catholic uh, charities. Awesome. Yes, sir. And uh, They're they trying are, to get you out of here. Yeah, we have a case manager working on... You know, there's, there's a whole bunch of us there on, on almost a routine basis. Wow. We get up, we, we can go over there. It's not a shelter, but it's like a day center. Right, right. We can clean ourselves up, shower, or shave, and they'll give us lunch. Um, and, you know, we can get out of the weather sometimes. Yeah. Uh, so uh, it's, it's a blessing to have that, and I'm glad that, you know, uh, I was able to find a place like that. Yeah. Uh, guys, uh, he was now, how long have you been on the housing list? Uh, well, I'm just recently getting on the housing list. So uh, yeah, because it's short. yes, yes, yes. But uh, they're saying they haven't. I've heard people say they've had difficulty. Yeah, well, they that's move the problem. In. There's yeah. no housing. Right, right, all right. So I don't know how long it's gonna last. But um, like I said, it's, it's it's you shouldn't be real depressed about hearing about the homeless because they're real people. 
Yeah, everyday folks, well, you know. Yeah, yeah. Well, just I mean, like you, you had a job, go eight hours at one point, and home and the yeah. weekend, you know, all of a sudden that's gone. Well, that's you what know, people, people yeah. will often watch these videos and they say, yeah. well, I don't have sympathy. I'm not trying to get people to have sympathy. I'm just trying to, the viewer to identify someplace so that they take action to change policies to get people such as yourself the housing unit. Right, right. And training, um, I, that's going to be a thing that I think would be very helpful, is to be able to get some sort of job training, even if it's a, a temporary job, but some sort of way to, to gain yeah. some, some kind of income, even if it's just on a daily basis, where it's just maybe an hour here, two hours there, or whatever. Uh, uh, because I've seen this, and I've not experienced this, this myself, is that the, the money, you know, uh, it costs a little bit more to have to eat in a restaurant every day if you have to, or, or, or eat it in a, you know, there's yeah, no you, way to save Well, your how food. do you survive? How do you, are you getting uh, any kind of benefits? Uh, yes, yes, I get, I get some benefits due to my veteran uh, connection. But it's just not enough for rent? No, no, so, right. What would you want people to know? You know, you have tourists from all over the world here coming to the White House and they see you with your belongings. What would you want them to know about homeless people that they probably don't know? Uh, that they're just regular human beings. You know, people have given us, uh, and, and include myself, oh man, look like you could, if you wanted to do better, you could do better. But it's not always that simple, you know? Yeah. You need, help. Uh, you need help to do better. Yes, yes, you need plenty. You, you'd be surprised how much help you depend upon on a daily basis. Somebody yeah. who nobody you know. gets out, nobody gets off the streets without a helping hand, and that's why we need right. to be that hand right. to people. So, right. If you had three wishes, what would they be? Three wishes. One, the first wish would be that uh, uh, people would have a better understanding that there is a such thing as trouble. And if there is trouble, there should be some kind of solution for that trouble. And that, uh, that, that would be the first wish that I could find solutions to certain troubles that I have or that, that would, uh, troubles that other people have that yeah. could be of great fix, use. Fix the world's troubles. Right, well, not the, just the world, but um, just say our city, our community. Yeah. Uh, if you live in a community where you've seen people who like I did when I was uh, uh, much younger, uh, I would see people walking the streets. I hand them coats. I uh, sometimes I, or I, I, I hand them meals, or I even hand them money. Uh, you know, you say, "Well, uh, I'm not going to help you drink alcohol or, or take your drugs," but they're, like I said, they're regular people, man. Uh, um, they're regular people and they have addiction uh, yeah. problems yeah. and if you don't have money what do you do yeah. you know you're homeless you don't have nobody to talk to you cannot call anybody yeah. it's hard uh, to do homeless sober right so right. you shouldn't judge right right right, right. so wish number two uh, wish number two would be um, uh, you know a, a, a lower price for as being able to wash your clothes now in my case I can wash my clothes at this um, uh, daycare center that I go right, to. Right, right, right. But it's a long line. Right. You know what I'm saying? You, you sometimes you have to stand there forever. There. But there were more uh, uh, coin-operated laundry yeah, machines yeah. where you could go in and it didn't wish. charge you an arm and a leg. Yeah, yeah, what yeah. Is a, a, not great wishes like, ah, oh, yeah. man, somebody sent me a hundred million dollars. Yeah, you just uh, watch yeah, 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 just something regular, something normal, yeah, something yeah, that yeah. people can use, you know, yeah. Uh, yeah, on a day-to-day -day basis. And just the three. average person. The, the wish number three is that, uh, wow, there'd be more jobs for people. Yeah. You know, uh, there'd be more... Uh, jobs that you can reach without having to have all this qualification. You got to have this knowledge and that knowledge and this knowledge just to get things that you yeah. need to survive. Because you'd work your way out of homelessness if you could. Right, right. Many, many people would say, well, yeah. wow. Uh, so. You know, you could, like uh, this recent uh, coronavirus thing that came in, uh, I don't know if you heard about it, but... Uh, I about think everybody's heard about it by now. Yeah, but uh, what happened was that many people uh, were not able to go back to their jobs, yeah. and they end up homeless. Yeah. 
Yeah, not people did, They so. couldn't stay in their apartment. They no longer had to pay the money to pay the yeah, rent, so yeah. they got evicted. Yeah. So some of these, I, I, I've talked to some of those people, and they said, wow, man, you ain't can't believe it. I've lived here for such and such years, number of yeah, years. Like my, all my family memories are there, and now I have to move because I don't have the money to get out of there. Yeah. So how do you repair that? Yeah. You know, should Jobs you be able to repair it? Should, 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 should America offer any type of hope for someone who, who lives here, who served here, who's worked here, who has been a part of the community, and now, boom. Yep, yep. Well, I need a home, or I need money, or, you yeah. know, you how, do, how do you fix that? Well, those are great wishes. So, thank you very much for talking to me. Okay, okay.